Hi all, I'm back. Um, I'm on the farm lake doing a couple of nights, uh, both in the margins, like three rod rents out. Um, left hand rod will be one of my homemade pineapple, no, this is banana, sorry, banana boilie on an inline, little inline, that's going out in the margin. And the right hand rod is on a bit of popped up artificial maize fishing over a bit of maize and a bit of sweet corn so that's it really simple back down here just to get a bend in the new rods um, I'll be going for my new gear later on that's uh, 2.45 and I think yeah I've been down here about four hours give or take but um, that's what I'm going to put on next that's um, just a 14 mil pellet with a grub as a boilie stop onto just small hair onto a size 7 hook and then a bit of coated braid stripped back a little bit with a little bag of mixed pellets because uh, a pellet is a good all year round bait I, I find um, that's the halibut pellet but that's a low in oil one and uh, I shall get that out over a little bed of pellet and see how we get on with that because I know they like the pellets down here so we'll give that a go and uh, with the weather not being great the water's still a bit cold um, there's been no movement as yet so uh, we'll see how we get on with that and that'll go next and I'm still doing the uh, bit of pop up fake corn maize over a bed of corn and um, I'll stick with that one so, that's next. Okay, I'll just show you my corn rig. I've uh, varied it slightly. That's basically it there. What it is, I've got two bits of standard corn, and that is a fake bit of ESP pop up maize. Really good stuff. But as you can see, what I've done is, is I've put my putty, I don't know if you can see that, actually on the eye of the hook and curved it slightly to make that hook kick out a little bit like that and that's to weight it instead of it being here I actually put it on the eye so uh, you can see the hook in action of that is uh, lovely so anyway that's what's going out over a bed of corn and that will sit just just like that that'll sit just popped up obviously with the hook pointing downwards so uh, yeah, get that out and give that a go on the right hand rod. It's uh, four o'clock and uh, look at that. Flat calm like a mill pond. Absolutely lovely. And just earlier on, over my corn bait, I saw a carp cruising about. And above the pellet down here, where it's there, um, some bubbles. So it ain't looking too bad at all. Uh, there's the rods and reels, I've actually got three of them SK3's but three rods is a bit much down here because it can get a bit hectic so uh, might do a bit of float of fishing in a minute because we've got movement on the surface out there, look so I might get out the floater rod thought it would get a bit cold for them to be on top but they're circling about, there's movement again just down here well it's just gone 10 and uh, 5 past 10 there or thereabouts uh, ready to get my head down just got my bag in it like you do right hand rod with the corn on a uh, couple of little bleeps bleep bleep so uh, see what happens there just started to get a little bit of rain as well I can hear it's just started so this says movement, so we'll see what tonight brings. Um, yeah, it's well, that's the next day now, after having nothing last night but a load of rain. Uh, well, I've moved swim. I've actually been seeing them. This is the swim I fished about a year ago, whenever it was, something like that. Uh, eight months ago, something, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I've been seeing, watching them crash yesterday, so I moved, like you do. And one's out there with the uh, pellet, 
the other side there. It's only 30 yards. And the other one is right, right in my margin, just down here on the right hand rod. And that's got the old uh, Tesco's sweet corn with a fake bit of ESP pop up maze on it still. Uh, might try the boilie rig later. Let's see how we go. But uh, yeah, that's the old uh, Nash TT rig station there. Look. Uh, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. I love it. Love it loads. Fantastic. So uh, we'll be talking about that later. And my new bed chair. Talking about that. I've got the luggage, new luggage and stuff. New bivvy. New everything really. So we'll go through that later. Because uh, I might be getting joined by old Basher. He's back. So we'll have a chat with him later as well. See what he's been up to and what he's got planned for this year. Wow. Look who's yeah. turned up. Yes. The old Basher's back on the bank. He's come down to say hello. Uh, been away, mate? Yes, mate. How did you get on? Yeah, it was all right. Did you uh, wet a line while you was over there? No. No? no. Didn't go for any of them carts in the States, then? Huh? No, mate. It's virtually impossible over there. So yeah. where, where you've got the waters over there, you've got the high bridges, and you'd need some, some beef to tackle, but you, it's just pointless fishing. Yeah. Oh, well. I'd have, uh, I'd have tried to have a go. I went bass fishing. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. Bash you with a ba bass? Yes, mate. Yeah, I'll say that when you're drunk. I didn't catch one, though. Oh well, never mind. But yeah, so got a new job, so you're busy at the moment, but you uh wait into the beginning of the season. I am indeed mate, first of April. First of April, you're gonna be back on it. And I'll be back, yeah. Yeah. That'll be good then. So my shift pattern works with the fishing well, so Yeah, that'll be alright then. Good, good, good. Yeah. You gonna have anything new or um You think about upgrading then, yeah, to some yeah, new rods and stuff? Yeah, I'm thinking about getting some um some long bows or something like that, I'm not too sure. Like the DFs? Yeah. Not too sure. Nice ones. Reels? I'm going to stick with my, my Infinities, mate. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like your BRs, don't you? But I've got some um, some Stevie Nevilles. I bought, yeah, I've yeah. got off eBay a couple, a couple of days ago. Yeah, I've got some nice uh, Nevilles in the uh, receiver as well. So, yeah. The uh, good old Nevilles. So, yeah. You'll be back at it soon then, son? Certainly will, mate. Nice one. Well, anyway. He's back. Well. As I said before, the rods. The rods I've got, I've picked up the Sonic, three pound test curve. I've got the SK3s. The reason I've got the SK3s, not the SK4s, the SK3s have got this full Duplon handle, which I really like. So that's why I've gone for them, to be fair. Um, that's about the only reason, really. And then, like I said before, I've got my Nevels, but what I've got with my Nevels is I've got the Gardener Bugs and the Cradle. This allows me to fish like I do a lot with a very, very slack line. And they stay in the cradle instead of hanging down like that. So that's what they do. Let me just set that back on there. And that wrist's on there like that. So you can fish with slack lines. Now I've got my custom built snag bars. Stop that from coming off there. I'm back with the uh, maximizer stainless again, because I do like that. And then the business end is my reels. <laughs> These are the wind car sets, uh, 150 each, and they're beautiful. Uh, you've got the quick drag system at the front. Uh, the line lay is amazing on it. The uh, line clip, you've got a really friendly line clip, which is really nice. I like that, it doesn't damage the line at all. And they're super smooth, really light. So that's basically the business set. I have got a three rod set up, but I'm not using the uh, third rod at the moment. So yeah, it's, um, it's good, I like it, it's a good setup. Okay, my carp care, again, um, I've gone out and got the business. I've got the Nash cradle, the biggest one he does um, in the cradle size. This one will hold massive fish. What I like about it is, unlike other ones I've had in the past, is when you take the inner out, you've got zips on the side, which zip down, so this folds in. So when you're packing it away and traveling, these don't crush, so they'll stay like that forever because they've got bars in them. And another added to it is you've got this Velcro flaps here, which flap on underneath bit as well, which flaps over. So you can keep the fish in there, all nice and quiet and still. Um, and if you need to as well, you can carry it back to release it. And then this side, you've got your pocket again for things like your carp care, 
uh, small pair of forceps, you know, if it's right down, which usually isn't, but you never know. So that all fits in there. And that's, yeah, that's a really good bit of kit, that. Uh, maximum padded. And as you can see, uh, I can bath my kids in it. It's that big. So yeah, I think that this is absolutely fantastic bit of kit. And then the other end is my landing net. It's a 42 inch quick release and it basically matches my rods. It's the Sonic SK landing net with an isotope slot, a lovely nice handle, very light and that easy to release. And what I've noticed with a lot of people fishing is when they're taking their landing nets apart, they have them and they're pulling on this and pulling on this. Now, what you're going to do is you're actually going to break the landing net doing that. You're going to break them. What it is is the fish is in the water like that. The easiest way to do it is you get your elbow in there, put a bit of tension on it like that. So you put your hand down. All you're doing is you're sliding your arm down that one. So you slide it down to there, and that's how easy it pulls out. Just like that. There you go. You know, you're not going to break your landing net. Forcing it out, break your spreader block or your arms. It's as easy as that, and that's it, done. And then it's out, that out of the way, and then your fish is all ready. So that's the carp care. On to the other end of stuff. I've got the new 2011 carp porter. It's got added additions, extra bar here, better feet, uh, bar along there. So it's a lot more solid, a lot better. And then I've got the Nash quiver again. And on that, I've got the SK, Sonic SK Spod Rod, because that's four and a half test curve. It just looks exactly the same as all the others, but that's the Spod with a M Cast Evo. But the difference I've got with my marker, I didn't go for the Sonic, because it's only a three pound test curve, which I think is a bit light for pulling through weed. It can snag, spring up, and then the marker float shot like two, three foot this way. You've missed, you know, all that. You could have had a bait on there. So what I've done was I've got the Grays one because that's a three and a half test curve and that's I think that's a perfect test curve for your marker flowing. So yeah, that's that's my business end. Uh, I've still got to get a, a nice stalker rod and stuff for the old flirt of fishing and that. But uh, there you go. That's all the rods. And the bivy is just basically a remake of the TX. I had a Dave Lane TX. Um, it's basically exactly the same, apart from you've got a peak here and the ground sheet, uh, the over rack I should say, not the ground sheet, basically actually pegs down to the bivy instead of separately. So you can get pegs exactly down to it, so you don't need no extra pegs or anything. Um, it's slightly bigger, same material. Um, I'd done last night in it and it was cold last night, but I was lovely and warm. It rained a lot as well, never had no rain. I had the door sort of half down that way instead of half up, um, so it's great. Lovely, nice and warm. Um, the sleeping bag and over wraps the new Big Snooze Plus, which has got some added extra features, which is really nice, worth upgrading to.